So I talk to feminists all the time. Right. I haven't seen you talk to an actual scholar once. You just talk to kind of random women. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, that's fair to say. Right? Mm-hmm. Recently, I watched Ethan Klein's interview slash debate slash humbling of Pearl Davis from Just Pearly Things, who is an anti-feminist pick-me-girl podcaster. And one point that Ethan made has really stuck with me. So why should I engage with in a, in a conversation with you at all if, you're, if women are just emotional? Shouldn't I be talking to a man about this? It really is a good point, especially with how simple it is. Why the fuck should we listen to a word she says if she's a woman, and women, according to her, are stupid and unreliable? This means that when it comes to people like her, whether I agree with her as backwards misogynistic premises or not, she can't be right either way. Yeah, I could waste time on proving her bullshit wrong. It sure doesn't seem hard to do so. The pay gap is a myth. Mm -hmm. Last time I checked, it was 3%. Oh, so there is a pay gap. But why not just treat her the way she wants women to be treated? You see, I'm a man and Pearl is a woman. So by default, I'm right and she's wrong. You can trust me, I'm a man. I think it's time for us to start using selective weaponized misogyny against low-life goblins like her and leave actual consideration for the women who at least respect themselves. Bonus point! Pearl will never be able to go beyond regurgitating the same talking points that her audience of 12-year-old Tate fanboys already agrees with. She is fundamentally incapable of challenging any of their beliefs because to them she's just a trained monkey in a blonde wig who they don't respect, since she's just a woman. What a pathetic fucking existence. Anyway, misogyny is cringe and dumb, except for when I do it. Thanks for watching.